Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I am going to show you um how to create a kind of web browser, and I think it's going to be uh, more than one video. Um, because I have some cool functions in my mind to show you. So I'm just going to create a normal Windows Forms application. So let's drag it up like this. Well, you can't see the properties, but I'm going to tell you. And otherwise, if you don't know, or is it? or if it isn't like standard I'm just going to drag it over so let's see I'm going to change my text to um, web browser browser um, just the basic stuff uh, you can change your icon if you want to I've got uh, a kind of world like and some kind of glow with some glow um, between it or something around it wrapped around um so let's begin so firstly i am going to create um let's see how we are going to do this um yeah you have a couple of uh, ways let's uh, just use a split container um so we go to the property panel 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 thing property thing uh, so we go to um name just to call it a uh, oh i accidentally pressed control s but okay so uh change it one change this one to sc1 from a uh, split container 1 um, doc can be filled a uh, fix it panel must be on uh, panel 1 so this panel well I'm going to show you right now but it can't move so panel 1 can't move actually um, so let's drag this one a little bit down so I can actually see it um, so let's see where we can find the orientation yeah orientations uh, set that's one that one to horizontal so it will be actually that line um so this one is going to be actually the navigation bar um just uh well it's kind of stupid but okay so you have to uh, click on this thing and then drag it all over so you actually select um the uh sc1 instead of just one panel so we are dragging this one up like that or something, it's just right enough. Uh, so we go to our toolbox and let's add a uh, text box just right here. Uh, you probably want to have some kind of icons or something. Uh, so, well, I have so I thought I have some basic icons, pretty ugly. I use them in Visual Basic 6, be they are so damn ugly because um, Visual Basic 6 doesn't actually support that kind of nice um, pictures. So let's see, it's just an image box by the way. So I'm just going to see it, check if I actually have a couple of nice images um, into my uh, folder. So when I can know it actually isn't. Uh, oh, the, uh, well, I have those, but they are icon files. See, they are kind of pretty ugly. I made them a couple of years ago. Uh, well, just use but I am going to use buttons. You just want to create some kind of uh, images or something, uh, which I don't have. But okay. Uh, so this button is going to be uh, uh, text is going to be back or something, and button the name is going to be btn back, and let's resize it so it's actually not that large like that. Um, so we're going to add another button of course for the forward um, and change the text to forward uh, it doesn't actually fit but uh, ah well now it does um, change it to btn forward um, ah well let's ah well I'm just going to put them there um, Oh, um, so I'm going to add another button, actually two. Oh, well, let's do one. I'm going to call this one btn stop and change the text to stop. Um, and let's resize this one too and just place it nice. Um, so now we have this actually this uh, thing, and something is actually pretty important for this one. Uh, text box is going to be uh, uh, well first change the name going to be txt uh, URL 
Um, so now comes one of the important parts. It's going to be anchor has to be set on uh, this one, this button. So click that one. Um, so, well, I'm just going to show you when it's not checked and when it is checked. Um, so you know what I mean, so I don't have to put the frame back. So you can see I'm changing the anchor again. Um, okay, so I can change my form, but see the text box doesn't actually resize with my form, and I want that. Um, so we are going to change that um, by pressing, or yeah, uh, by adding the anchor uh, to that uh, to check that anchor point. So whenever I checked it. Uh, see, so now it's resizing with the form, uh, so it's better, I think. Uh, at least it looks kind of professional, more professional. Um, so I'm going to add another button. This one is going to be the last one. Uh, change the text to go or something, which is also going to be a refresh button, or well, actually not a real refresh refresh, but I'm going to show you the code for the refresh. So I'm going to change the name to btn go. And I'm going to change this one a little bit and change it like that. Okay, so, um, well, I'm going to go to the um, actual coding in a class and I'm going to declare some. Uh, oh, I got mail. Yes, I've got a subscriber. So, uh, good timing for you, I think. Um, so, anyway, uh, I'm going to declare a private sub. So, let's do go uh, because this one has to be. Oh, private sub go sorry uh, and then two brackets opening and closing and then press enter so it w uh, would automatically uh, put in and sub I think you're kind of familiar with uh, the subs and private subs and functions and properties uh, if you don't if you're not uh, familiar with that you probably gonna have to view uh, one of my other tutorials about properties and functions which is also including uh, how do you call it uh, subs and stuff so uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to resize this one a little bit so it's night and nice and tight in there. So I am going to declare a actual a uh, go sub because when I want um, the program going to URL when I press enter on this button uh, on this text, or if you press the go button. So for that reason, I'm going to create a go function or sub. So I don't have to put in the code twice. Well, it's not that long that code, but I mean, well, it's just easier. So, uh, so I'm going to drag in a um, Windows web browser, a uh, web browser. I mean, um, don't ask me if you have uh, if you uh, I I had a question about it, and it was like um, if this function is still. Uh, Working when you don't have Microsoft Internet Explorer installed, uh, I think so because um, it's already pre-installed with any kind of computer uh, which is pre-installed with Windows. So I think it is. Uh, otherwise, I well, I don't have any idea how you can solve it. So uh, maybe later on, just view the description or something for more information. So anyway, back to the tutorial, which is going to be nearly the end because. Well, the time is nearly uh, 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 at the limit. So, anyway, I'm going to change the name to um, a WB1 uh, from Web Browser 1. Uh, so, okay. Um, so, let's go to the code for the GoSop, the private GoSop. You can also make it public, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, so, I'm going to type in WB1. Uh, we, what the f Sorry, uh, I mean WB, okay, sorry. <laughs> so WB1.navigate will navigate, and then um, you have some kind of, here you see, URL as system.uri, and well, you just have to scroll down and see a URL string, a string. So um, t it's going to be txt URL the text, of course, um, dot text. Um, so it's really easy actually to code, but maybe you're kind of lazy to put that in twice so then uh, for the button go type in go and then for uh, this one it's going to be uh, kind of hard and not that much so we're going to get through the events from the te text box I'm going to uh, 
scroll down to key down. Um, then I'm going to type in fe dot key code equals to keys dot enter. Uh, then it's going to be go, of course. So let's check that out right now. Um, done. Okay, so uh, HTTP colon slash slash YouTube dot com. I press enter and it is loading actually. And yes, it does work actually. Um, so the doc also. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, so this problem with the go button, I'm going to fix in the next tutorial. So be sure to check it out. Any questions can be sent to my email address, which is in the video description. So thanks for watching this video again, and I'll catch you in the next part.